happened. All right, we got a game. Arena. Even more excluded. We're up against Pipico's Bog the Club and 0621. And apparently it does show that here? Maybe? I was uh, actually not looking. I don't remember 0621. 290, 564 games, very old account. Okay. Not any smurfing considerations or concerns. Um, I don't know, chat, does this look familiar in any way? <laughs> Do things look familiar here? <laughs> Papigo's rated 502, Bog Club rated 255. <laughs> this isn't a carpenter's parlor, but... The miner here is a little interesting. We could immediately take forest in. Grain sieve and steam plow are probably better in the abstract. I think I take steam plow now and hope to get forest in back or that it just gets played at some point. So I don't know. Extra wood is kind of a necessity for Steam Plow to work in, at all, but if I play Forest in and someone else takes Steam Plow, which they inevitably will out of this pack, I don't like that either. Right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Come on, game. I mean, there's five good miners if you include the baking. In a house steward game, I'm really tempted to just go wood expert half timbered and be kind of sad about it. Sheepkeeper loom is obviously great. The real interesting outcome is wheeling threshing board. But yes, we, we need a grain source. I will be grabbing any good grain source here. Cultivator! As I look at a good grain source and don't take it. We might be going on an excursion again, Jack you. Um, I mean, Cultivator is good enough to make steam plow work. That's for sure. Grabbing any good grain source unless there's a cultivator, exactly. We'll just wheel the silo keeper and make it work. Um, in the meantime, I think this might be a remodeling pick. Oh, I totally lied, Ace Spade. Though, cultivator is like... One of the very few things 
Given I already have a steam plow in hand. Uh, we can double up on the steam theme with steam machine. But I don't think... Er. <laughs> Funny enough, steam machine, steam plow can, like, kill its own wording. Because steam machine requires the last action space you use to be accumulation, but afterwards you use another... Actually, that's not true, because Steam Plow is after returning home, and Steam Machine only thinks about the work phase. Okay, no, it doesn't break itself. Anyway, cute interaction aside that doesn't matter, because I don't have grain yet. Just take remodeling. This is pretty good as, like, a um, build your fourth and or fifth room out of clay help card. Seaweed fertilizer's not bad here, though. Maybe it's better? Maybe it's better. What else was in this pack? Yeah, exactly. More grain converters. We needed more of those. Timing was great, yeah. Not steam machine with wood expert? Correct, because... What am I gonna do with it? I have no grain. Which is a gigantor issue. And I think I'm taking calcium fertilizers here. Given my lack of crops. Hollow Warden's fun. Everything else is pretty bad except clay plasterer might be helpful on a house steward game. Forest Inn did get taken, so we can just hope that that gets played. Grain Sieve is definitely the pick here, minor-wise. And I probably could be okay with Chairman. I'm in the third seat, which I didn't look at at all. I think I kind of need to take Chairman. As third seat, I'm really hoping I get Forest Reviewer played in round one. Not getting it played is not the end of the world, because it means I get Reedstone, and we know that's not bad either. But I want to take a round one Ock out of this hand, just take it out of play, and maybe use it later. Don't need Papermaker... Not threshing board, unfortunately. With clay plasterer, collier starts to make a little more sense. Whiskey is just not the card for this game. Storage barn could be okay. Something something, making silo keeper work, something something. Do I care about trout pool? Late clay. Yeah, I mean, obviously Wood Expert would have loved some more um, advantage on miner's cost, but is what it is. Animal Teacher from Papikos. That was my first pack. So 0621 might have grabbed House Steward or it's with Bog the Club. Other first round pick from my pack was uh, not that. Don't actually remember right now, but it'll come back to me. Two 
Two play from Picos makes total sense, despite Major Minor not showing up. Start player is what I would expect from Bog here, but it is not. Playing Retail Dealer and not starting is a little weird. I will start and play Forest Reviewer. This Calcium Fertilizers can't come out quickly enough. Um, do I need to play Forest Reviewer next round? Is something else better? The answer to that might be no. I do have five good actions on this board, though the two read is secretly not a good action for me. I guess I'll still play Forest Reviewer in case the fifth action ends up being two read and I take two wood, one read instead. Womp. Another Ock for Pipikos? Oh, Hollow Warden. That is neat and nifty. That is a very good animal teacher, Ock. Immediately turn into patron. With upside. Of getting stuff breeding. And late game points and all that. I do end up on three wood here, which I will take above uh, two wood and probably one read. Bog just getting Reedstone fourth in the round, so, you know, maybe they had a better idea about how this game was going than I did. I do get the read here anyway, as 0621 looks a little childless y. But in return, I'm getting four wood. Unless Papikos starts for it or takes this. I guess there were a lot of people still to go. Uh, Bog now starting. We'll see if they go Reedstone or Four Clay. Parlor! Hello. I guess they're going Reedstone. I think I've seen some of these cards yesterday. <laughs> um, I'll take three wood and play an Auk unless Childless gets played from right behind me. We we did see... What was it? Pack 3 was really good. That's Papikos' opening hand. I don't feel any pressure on the other Ox in my hand. The other main pressure is BMW. Okay, it's not Childless from 0621 unless they're super concerned about something else. Or know that I can block. Either way, I don't really care. Cord maker. Fifth pick cord maker, not a fourth pick cord maker. And I guess I'm on two wood, one read here. Bonehead's very nice. That could have been a pick ahead of Cultivator. If I didn't get a read for taking Grove, I would probably just build here, honestly. But that's, of course, not the world I'm living in.
I think it would still make sense for 0621 to have Forest in House Steward, but they have played no cards yet. On the other hand, Papikos has played five cards already. Starting with a Brick Hammer. Admittedly, none of the other moves look that amazing for them. We'll see what they open with here. Three wood, fair enough. The two read looks, you know, pretty uncontested at this point. But Bog still takes it with Parlor. Bog can build, I can build, 0621 already has a room. I guess the amount of early room parts meant I should have considered build a little more heavily. If I build right now, I'm hoping for four food or reed stone on the wheel. But I'm not actually sure I get those. Four clay, I guess, is okay. But underwhelming. So bake in stage two. I can't use that. I can't play this before all my other stuff. Um. Okay. Read stone for clay or food. I had to be sure I was okay with that set of options before proceeding here. It's pretty clearly not childless for 06. And I will get a food stack, which is what I was hoping for. Oh, you know what's happening is Papikos is playing a really early oven site. That is what's happening over there. House Steward's over here. Yeah, okay. Sensible. Scary. There was a Lutonist in this draft. Not that it was going to matter much, but, you know, might as well. Kill off the 2% of games where Lutonist gets the extra proc early because I took fishing instead and 06 doesn't travel. Whatever. I'm third this round, which means if Grove flips, or if I just want to um, park, I can. I don't think I mind parking here. But of course I don't need to. Vincent giving me three early growth games in a row when I'm ready for it. I don't know how I deserve these blessings, but here we are. Um, Bog missing the opportunity to start build. It's not Vincent. It's a cervic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I might be able to play Cultivator next move.
All right, Steam Plow Truthers, you're getting your wishes. Ew. I mean, that's a lot of points, but still ew. Topeka's grabbing the sheep and ungrabbing them. With Reedstone available. Given the wood situation in this game, and the fact that I'm... Okay, that move changes things a little, but... And it probably should have been expected. But I need to be... ready to pivot into Clay Plasterer or Collier, because I think that might be really good this game. In the meantime, I'm going to see if I can snag one of the ovens and some good crops. But I have some lines where I end up having a fantastic crop game here. But I think I'm already ready to pivot into clay rooms. You're a steam plow truther and this is also not how you would play it ever? Have you ever had these cards ever? As a spade is intimating. So we did have some wood police, which gave me a read. I want BMW pretty badly. Oh, we are getting forest in. Yes! Hey, it's me in your back feet. Right click on Gonzo Bone. Scroll to ban. Click. <laughs> Gonzo, thanks so much for the tier one in the six months. I super appreciate the support. Um, I'm getting four wood here. Horse boat's nice. Papikos took the reed because reasons. I think I do need to take a crop manually, but that's okay. It's Papikos and me eligible for forest in this round. O6 taking wood to be eligible for forest in. Papiko's building. What should my move be? Reedstone and Collier? Reedstone and Clay Plasterer? Am I why am I thinking of getting Reedstone with Retail Dealer right in front of me? I don't know, but Bog maybe buys Clay Oven here. That would explain it. Yep. Check. Reedstone Collier seems pretty fun. Also, I need to not get ahead of myself because I do have not enough food right now. And... That means I can't steam plow. Maybe I shouldn't have even done the first steam plow. It was just so fun, I couldn't resist. Get a grain when I reno? Screw Collier. This is actually good. Silo Keeper better than Outrider? No. I would still rather have Outrider. I would actually have a grain if this was Outrider. That's not true.
bog needs to grow. Is anyone else so baking right now? Bog technically can, but I'm going to say it doesn't. doing it this way. Because I think Papikos is going for Hearth. I have an action for three wood and a food here. I have an action for two wood and a food here. And I do need to sew. But, unless Bog sows here, I'll be fine. The Picos has the Loom, and probably the Sheep Keeper as well. What was 0621 doing? Drafting very differently than I would have. Not necessarily a bad thing, but very differently. Bog being a friend and a pal, because they can't take Forest in. The Picos can technically bake a grain or two, but that would be ridiculous. If I build... <sighs> no, I need to take food in some way. So I'll take Reedstone. First dock for 06 is Bohemian. So they're gonna take Forest in for food, supposedly. I could have killed that option. I can still kill that option, but not going to. Sowing a grain is hugely important for me here. In my estimation. Bohemian's a fairly decent first stock. Maybe in like round two. I wouldn't say it's that great in round seven. I mean, some games it helps a lot. We... we did it. Uh, first action is going to be three stone calcium grain. I expect this to be the food option. No, it's the middle option. Yeah, it's just... you can't be taking the middle option on forest in unless you have to. Six clay is definitely tempting, but I haven't even played Collier yet, and I do still have room parts for um, wood room, even though that's not what I had originally planned. Forest Inn does make this a lot more viable. Also, my field is just in the wrong spot. If I don't know how many rooms I'm building, I should have put it here, but um, I'll build this room, I guess. I guess Bog could take three stone. I wasn't really thinking about that. Wood Way Bucket is interesting with Animal Teacher. Alright, three stone for Bog. If I don't get an oven, that would be kind of sad. Put me into Hearthville. I mean, I'm solidly looking at not having an oven here.
I'm probably just going to build next move. I can try to start build. I just don't think it's worth trying. With good actions on this board. 06 isn't even threatening the room here. Boar came out, so it's also a little surprising that Bog didn't go three wood, two food. But, I mean, three stone's really good, so... I should be less surprised. I think I'm building now anyway. And just taking food last action, assuming it's there. Interesting. In that, if they don't take clay, how do they expect to hit this? Moment of truth for Bog. Which three stone improvement are they buying? That's a good answer for me. Um, it's also a dare that I can't feed next round, but I think that's not true at all. If I start... I think I still get five food. Bread Paddle gives me a food. Uh, except for I can't play Bread Paddle. Things I definitely noticed. Yeah, I kind of need five food. Mm, day labor eat two raw grain is technically possible. Letting me grow here is uh, unexpected. Wow, 06 not even taking the clay here. I must be missing something. Alright. I dare two people to take five food is what I'm saying. We got it through. Getting one read shouldn't be too difficult here. With uh, Grove already take. Hey, look, we already got it. Amazing. We get wrecked on Silo Keeper, though. It'll be fine, because... Stone Oven, I think I have Tempo on. Even with Oven Sight in the game. Reedstone would guarantee... Or, 
make the guarantee a little better for this, but, uh... Yeah, I have a food to spare. So this move actually matters a lot. I think it's just three read. How easy is two stone next round? If I don't take read stone, 06 certainly does. Papikos can still build hearth. But doesn't have the clay or stone. Oh, Pavigos will have the stone. Just be one clay away. What's Bog doing? Probably taking Reed if I don't. Okay, I do need to decide if I need Clay Plasterer. And that obviously brings into question exactly how many rooms am I ending on this game. With two read not available until round 11 now. Stockman's fun with Woodway Bucket. Pico's also commenting in game chat about these cards looking the same as yesterday's. Bog fencing is extremely reasonable. Especially with Horseboat giving them a second uh, sheep next round. Okay, but I think my game is now in very good shape. As long as I first move two stone here. The wood is going to be a little tough, but I have drips from Collier and Wood Expert with action advantage. I'm not going to mess around with the stone, though. Yeah, three pigs just hanging out is not something I can really address here. Three wood's fine if I want to gamble, but six food also is pretty good. <sighs> And given my wood situation is pretty bad, I can just plow normally, too. Well, maybe I do get... I didn't expect to get Reno. So, Clay Plasterer can run away. Collier, Wood Expert is good enough. I'm not sure I should be able to get Stone Oven here, but I guess other people are just on other plans.
This is funny. Uh, take sheep, pay wood for a stable, get a cow. From Stockman. And then, yeah. Papigos has got good animal stuff going on. My crop stuff came in a little slow, but I think my food is just in a very good place now. Four clay for bog makes sense. Not clear anyone else needs clay the rest of the game, which means Collier will be a sufficiently good long-term investment. I can take a veg here and say goodbye to seaweed fertilizer. I think I'd... well... I think I'd rather Ock. Because unlike Outrider, Silo Keeper lets me take veg grain in two different rounds. Big deal. 0621 taking more wood. I mean, the wood expert did give me enough to steam with. To steam plow with. Papico's fencing. So, uh, a little sad on a bit of an action disadvantage, but on the other hand, the loom really wants the breeding capacity ASAP, and 06 can already fence max. So this is reasonable, if not amazing, for Papikos. I'm still start, so I'm just gonna take veg grain into four wood here and not be sad about it. Excursion coming around, please, yes. You know, maybe I don't build any clay rooms. I mean, it's extremely likely I should just be farming instead. Taking four wood puts me eligible for, um, forest in... I mean, late rooms aren't out of the question. It's still possible Bog has something like a mason. I am just going to forest in with my next action here. This looks more conservator-like. Or wood slide. I know I didn't see parlor and throwing axe. Did I see horse boat? Ugh. The tempo wasn't there. Yeah, I mean, I also thought there were worlds where Clay Plasterer might open up enough, uh... Or Collier would open up enough, uh, reason to take Clay. For a room, and I kind of still think that might be true. Um, starting here is good. In general, what would I start with? Yeah, Papikos is just taking breeding cows. First or last, Bog, first or last.
last has been declared. Excursion is reasonable for tempo, but so is bread paddle. O six finishes off their house book master. Heroic Logic, hello, how are you? Mm. Uh huh, yes. Awkward. That explains a lot. Good thing I have some wood right now. <laughs> It's either veg grain or play collier and bake one. I'm not sure I see any better options. Crops are just underwhelming when I have calcium. Hello, Trollo. And you were just at your uh, local friendly game store pre-ordering the E-Deck. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, clapping time. Uh, it depends on uh, what you mean by before. Because it's been around for a few months, but not the whole time. Do I need this field? No, I don't. I can do that later. Keep the extra wood in supply for tempo on fences or forest in. If this is plow so, I don't really need. Oh, that, that, that. I should have eaten a reed. Yeah, some people have called for its banning due to the warping effect it can have, but I don't think it's that bad. It's annoying. Like, I am definitely annoyed right now, but not on the scale of we should ban this because I'm annoyed right now. It is a very important card, but there are many very important cards. Let's see what we flip in round 12 here. I was ready to be disappointed with Plowso, but we do hit Urgent Wish. Because Vincent, Tandora, Cervic have just been giving me everything round-wise the last few games. It supports farming? Yes, I do like things that support farming. Alright, cow comes with a grain for me this stage. 
I now don't have to build another room. Pipicos can use forest in. But is going aggro cow with wooden way bucket. This pretty much uh, locks in animal reeve. Though there is a wild card in this game, the Hoof Caregiver is in the draft. And Hoof Caregiver adds another cow on the cow space here. So, if I'm 0621 and I get two pigs with my next move, I might play Hoof Caregiver last and open two cows. Though, nah, 06's farm doesn't have capacity for Animal Reef, so maybe never mind. You won a game earlier because Pipico's played it? Interesting. Let's take advantage of this extra wood in the game. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what Collier is doing anymore, to be honest. Ideally, I have eight stone. For pottery, half timbered. I guess joinery works. Hey, Mighty. I don't know. I was never too opposed to original Constable, which more or less is the same. Uh, if I take wood, I can be ready to fence again. Though, I don't know, kind of like last game, fence pressure is low. I do want to get greedy and try to sow before calcium this round. So I could just start for cultivation. Papigo's taking a reed stack, that's fair. I'm going last next round. I should think about taking cow next round because it comes with a grain. I have five actions, so, you know, a lot of stuff is possible here. Bog is gonna run out. I mean, if I can win House Steward on three, which Bog is saying I can, they buy joinery, that's fair. Wood expert usually likes joinery. This is not a great wood expert, but it is still decent wood. Wood read might be my best action, so I'm taking it. Urgent wish, cultivation, plower start is how next round's gonna go. I think. It's possible I should have taken Reedstone. 
but I think... Yeah, because I think it's because I need another wood action to steam plow for the rest of the game. That's why Reedstone was probably better than Wood Reed. But this does a better job of keeping pottery lines open, so it's not that bad. I am planning Defense 13. Cow Prince's surprise points, yeah. Let's see how good my endgame predictions are. Um, this is also possible given Domestician. Um, not sure what Bog's gonna try to do, but I'm gonna start. A significant part of why I'm gonna start here is that if I look at who my competition is to win, I think it's Bog. So putting them last in round 14 is significant. Two of my actions I want to be so and stone. I did forget excursion is five for me now. Plowsov's gonna come with a grain. Pretty sick if you ask me. Reno pressure, there are ugh, a lot of Renos possibly wanted, depending on what Bog does here. Yeah, this is slightly awkward because I don't actually have all the resources I want before renoing. On the other hand, if I don't reno now, I could easily get screwed. So I should reno now and set my sights lower for... incoming things. Also, don't look now, but my food is, um... not perfect. Okay, my food's kind of bad. <laughs> but we gotta deal with it. I don't see any way, uh... Playing seaweed fertilizer feels like it's leaning way too far into, um... Getting so baked this round. Yes, Sivir, that is what's next. Um, grain sieve's fine. I 
I should have noticed Papikos was going to do that. But Bog could also be taking moves against me, given the current state of things. How is that over there? They are going to hit it because this is a uh, seventh sheep. This is where forgetting to eat the reed last round is really bad. Is this dumb? Probably not. Maybe traveling was a sharper move there. And I need to fence also. Now, Bog has a very good case to so bake with the clay oven. No, my move's fine. I need to fence and improve my food situation. Those are my moves. Bog taking an eighth sheep. Feeding on joinery and pigs, I guess? Did I consider opening next round with Ren Fence? No. Not with Silo Keeper. I do need a wood action next round. But I'm going to claim that those are plentiful enough. To hit a final steam plow. And Cultivator is going to give me a wood for... Cultivation. Not forgetting this time. All right, cultivation. Animals are two point moves. Wood is like a two or three point move. Stone is a bunch of points. I had two points and... It might just be two points and a half-timbered opener. Unfortunately, my sewing aesthetics are going to be really bad. I don't think there's a good sewing aesthetic for me here. Should have considered that when I sewed the veg. Should have put it elsewhere. I always talk about important things on my stream.
All right. Uh, so Silo Keeper pays off. I feel uh, weirdly happy about that here. Papikos is going to get Urgent Wish because 06 took a cow. But Papikos takes Farmland instead. Gone Veg in the middle and Grain at the side. That's reasonable. The big issue, of course, is that our veg stacks are one off from each other. <laughs> Backseating. Alright, so we do get some very good effects from being start player this round, notably Bog being plow blocked, but they do get urgent as a three point move instead, so I guess it's not that different. Bog Renos to 44. Breeds to 45, 48. Has a joinery. So Bog's still, like, cracking 50. And, uh... I suppose it's not clear that I am. What's most important here? Oh. Oh. I'm one stone short of... Yeah, so you know what's better than a five point half timbered? Depending on my food situation. Is a three point stone room and minus three to bog. Especially if I get stables. Papiko's with a fun overhaul here. It's like a three point overhaul. I think that's my winning line. Wood stables. And food. Room with stables, that is. And I think I need to be greedy for it. I am currently fed if I eat... some stuff. I have an extra grain from Grain Sieve and an extra veg. Hey, Zizak. Yeah, it's a close one. And I think I'm going room stables here if I'm allowed to as the winning move. Though... Half Timbered is two points worth? I don't know. How is Bog not blocking a build here? Well, they have to Reno, and the stables are worth no points for them because of joinery. So we'll see what they do. They probably should build stables, but I am kind of forcing their hand. And my backup of playing Half Timbered is not bad at all. Miko saying didn't have the hand for early grow. Yeah, definitely not hoping for it. Oh. Well... Knowing they passed Half Timbered House might be a little hurtful for them here because they might be missing this line because of it. Okay. 
Kamiko saying fourth pick loom. Surprise, yeah. Bog took Retail Dealer over Cultivator, apparently. Okay. Um, Food-wise, I'm eating a point if... I don't take food. So food's worth a point. And animal is two points. I don't see anything better. Double check my cards. You're unsure how I didn't end up with six fields here. Yeah, fencing tight maybe was better. Thanks, Silver. Is this enough? I'm eating a point or two. Bog did already get sheep keeper points. Yeah, I guess taking House Steward away was really the swing. So I think uh, my conclusion from the last two days is that Forest Reviewer is really, really good. Because uh, I did another no cookery big house game. This one was a lot sketchier. This was a lot sketchier. But we made Silo Keeper work in a weird situation. We got a very nice Steam Plow combo, though Threshing Board would have been a ton better. Definitely didn't make it around. It is what the stats say, Ace Spade. Um, very cool win, thanks. I don't want to spend one wood on a field because there are better things to do with wood. Was a bit dubious. In hindsight, the animal situation definitely wasn't good enough for me to want fences for holding animals. At that point, because I was so low on wood, I thought that it was just safer to have more wood. I think Forest Inn complicates things with having wood tempo. Uh, but yeah, in the end, yeah, it's the house steel, uh, house steward steal that really makes a big difference. And I do end up winning the first game of this arena season for me here. On a, uh, bit of a long think time, my opponents played very speedily, and I did not. Still knocking a green thumb, this alt-account nonsense from Pifikos. Thanks, Kung Ming. Collier, um, not the most amazing play. I will say uh, that wasn't great. It was an emergency bake action. <laughs> yeah, my food was way too sketchy here. It should not have been this sketchy, but admittedly, if I didn't silo keeper when I did, it would have been even worse. So there's that. Our wood recovered from four rooms really fast. Yes, thank Forest Inn. Thank Forest in for that.
Fencing smaller and having more fields? That's probably true. My inexperience with steam plow is showing. But yes, I think uh, fencing tight would be overall better. Or at least unlikely to be worse. You've done too many weird games to not know how good Fence 11 is. Fence 11 good too. Cultivator makes a difference, yes. Cultivator good, if you didn't know. BGA streamer check. with in how many fields yes yes in both how many fields i want to have and uh how much wood i have available for sure okay that's gonna be all for me today uh i have a lot of work to do this afternoon because i've been procrastinating up until my uh, self-imposed deadlines uh, I will be back on Thursday with another Agricola stream, assuming nothing goes haywire. I will hope to see you all then, or at a future date. Thanks so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Bye.